Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Hope everybody's doing okay today. <laughs> I'm making this video on Friday night. You'll probably see it on Monday morning. But I wanted to show you this. My brother cooked us up a steak and baked potato. And that is the perfect pink steak that I like. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Mmm. It is so tender when it's rare like this. It's not blood red. It's just rare. I mean, it's rare, but it's not bloody rare. I don't know if I explained that properly. <laughs> It is so tender that I can cut it with a knife without stabbing a fork into it. Well, except for that one little string there that's holding on. <laughs> that, my friends, is a delicious steak. And when a steak is done properly, as my brother has done this evening, you don't need to put anything on it. And of course there's nothing better with steak and potato than a good beer. He's definitely a good cook. Don't tell him I said that though, it'll go right to his damn head. Anyway, some of you have, have commented that you tried to eat a steak and it was really hard to chew. And I have to tell you, as long as I've been eating beef, the more well done the steak is, the denser it gets, which means the harder it is to chew. If you don't mind a rare or medium rare or even a medium well steak with a little pink in it, you'll find that it's much easier to chew with your dentures. Me, I like it no matter what. I don't care if it burns them. I just like steak. So I just wanted to throw this up and show you all this. I'll probably add to this video here in a few minutes. I'll probably figure out something else to talk about besides steak. <laughs> but a lot of you have been asking me to do more eating videos showing different things that I eat, although I've done those in the past. Uh, different things that I can eat and, and different techniques that I use and things like that. So I'm considering doing that um, because I know that a lot of you are still struggling with eating certain things. And, oh, and thank you all for the amazing comments on my Apple Eating 101 video. Apparently, there's been about a hundred of you now that have watched that video and learned how to eat an apple and don't have to cut it up anymore. And that is absolutely mind-blowing that's amazing I love teaching people things so thank you all very much for the amazing comments on that video all right I hope everybody has a fantastic day I'll be back in just a few minutes all right my friends I gotta say that steak was delicious now um, Saturday that was Friday Saturday we worked on my brother's sand rail all day and we got it up and running and of course those videos go on his channel um, and I didn't do I wasn't much of a help but I helped as much as I could and today Sunday um, you'll be watching this on Monday today Sunday we made the 70 mile round trip 35 miles out or 40 miles out and 40 miles back um, out to Grantsville Utah for my grand nephew's first birthday party my niece's second child and we went out there for his first birthday party. So I um, threw a little video together about that. Here's some of the people out there. I, for privacy reasons, because there were so many conversations going on, I went ahead and muted this video. But as you can see, quite a few people showed up and um, it was great. Um, you know, he had all of his family there and everything and it was awesome. I don't really know hardly any of these people, but 
I was happy to go and see my little nephew and enjoying his cake and here he is enjoying his cake um, I think he ate about half of it he was just shoveling it in and there were so many people gathered around him with their cameras that I just stepped aside and waited and then you know once they were all done doing their videos I stepped up and took this little video of him he's so cute so anyway that was my weekend I hope everybody has a fantastic day I hope you don't forget to keep smiling keep trying and whatever you do never give up